call this meeting to order at 7.05. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, we are not streaming live due to some def um, technical issues, but this will be uploaded to our site afterwards. I'd like to convene, reconvene a regular session. Can we get a roll call, please? Trustee Inger, present. Trustee Ochkundi. Trustee Salahuddin. Present. Vice President Lee. Here. President Tahada. Here. Can you get a, an approval of the agenda? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approval of the minutes? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we have nothing to re report out of closed session. And now for our recognitions and commendations, we have a full house. Um, first, we would like to recognize the Jefferson High School Grizzards mural. Uh, uh, groups that it has already become an iconic piece of art in Daly City. If you go to the top of the hill of Daly, Daly City at the Mitsubishi um, uh, dealership, you'll see this gorgeous, gorgeous mural uh, depicting Daly City. That's my neighborhood. It is so awesome. And Jefferson High School is my school, so I'm even doubly proud. Um, so I'd like to, we'd like to honor the Jefferson High School Grizz Art Club as they celebrated the completion of their first mural with a ribbon cutting ceremony on September 13th. The recently completed mural is the result of a collaboration between community member and PT, Jefferson PTSA leader, Victoria McVeelong, the project funder Dragonfly Community Arts and the Bay Area Mural Program, who worked with the Grizz Art students and their Jefferson advisor, Suzanne Kenline, to design and paint this exciting new Daly City landmark. And I want to say it is a landmark already. The team is grateful to everyone who helped make this idea a reality, including Daly City Mitsubishi and building owners Donna Carusis and Patricia Harriot, and appreciates the enthusiastic support of the Daly City government. Um, I know it, you can just look at it. It was a labor of love. And I've heard that there were so many Zoom meetings that you went through to plan this out. And uh, you made it look effortless. Uh, it, it is a landmark and iconic already. So we would like to um, present certificates of, to the following students. The president of the Grizz Arts Club, is she here? She's not here yet. Yet? She's probably doing circles. Her OK. <laughs> All right. OK. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to find this She's room. <laughs> but we'll go to um, one of our, our office, the officers, Jessica Contreras. Okay. Um, do you want to help me with yeah, this? Yeah, I'm happy to. Oh, uh, should order? we just go in order here? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Do you want to do that, Do you Suzanne? want to come here? Wait, so here, James let's, is here. Yeah, let's do the students first. Yeah. yeah, let's come on over this way. Come on back. <laughs> or maybe go forward. Maybe we'll just... Um, yeah, go in front. Okay. Well, let's go in front. And, okay. And uh, where do you want me? Let's see. Why don't we just go in front and we'll stand with. Okay. okay. <laughs> it made me nervous as a teacher when the kids were too quiet. Yes. <laughs> Arvin Espada. 
she just ran out to find someone. Shannon. Shannon? Or Shannon? I wanted to pronounce it there if she wants. Wesley Wu? <laughs> well, let's wait. Um, well, we can. Would you like? Would you like to do the adults? Yes. Sorry, missed on that one. Sorry. Okay. No, Always no, thinking about the kids. <laughs> no, 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 we it oh, this is for you. <laughs> Yay! Victoria Mandela. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Huge deal. So, Dragonfly not only funded the mural, they funded the classes. These, this group band was came into our classroom and taught the kids the um, components of mural design and had the kids practice layering ideas and, and, and configuring artwork with several different concepts on it and then encouraged them to create their own design and they came up, they wanted the hills, the houses in the hills, they wanted the ocean, they wanted the fog, so that was the background. And then each letter of the mural, it says welcome to, or greetings from Daly City. And Daly City has its own little picture in it so that every one of the students could incorporate their idea uh, of something nostalgic about Daly City that they love. They have Cal Palace in there, They've got the Bart, they've got uh, <coughs> Sutro's Tower and the Fog, they've got the, um, the Daily City Indigenous Flowers. What else is in there? The Old Fountain. Oh, yeah. 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 The yeah. Oh, the Old Fountain. Yeah, not the new one. Not the, the old, old one. Yeah. The middle one. The middle one. The, the, middle. Middle. the, the, middle. One. the turtle one. With the, the turtles. Oh, <laughs> I love that. So this design really did come to the students. Yay. Participate in the painting of it. I wouldn't allow them on the second and third level of the scaffolding. But because of Dragonfly, we did get to choose the big mural. Uh, I hope you all get to the top of the hill. It's bright orange. It really is something to be said from each one of these designers. And thank you, Dragonfly. Thank you. Thank you. Um, when they were teaching the students, was it during the school year? It was during the, the school sun? year after COVID. We came in the classroom and we after after class instead of Grizz Art. Well, we call ourselves the Art Club, uh, but the, the students that worked on this mural named themselves Grizz Art. Mm -hmm. And yeah, these these classes happened after school uh, on campus. The Banff members, Bay Area Bay, Bay Area Mural Program came in and taught the kids. That's fantastic. Yeah, and then helped them design the mural. And then one night, late at night, they projected the, mm -hmm. an eight by 10 that the kids had designed and put together and turned in. We had a deadline. And they turned in their final work and they projected it on the side of a building and got the insurance and the scaffolding up. And then they went to work with spray paint paint and layer after layer mm -hmm. until that project was done. This happened last June, the, yeah. the actual painting. Right. But the development of the lessons for making murals to designing their own January, February, mm -hmm. March, mm -hmm. April, and then in June we actually mm -hmm. started the work. <laughs> well, um, can we get you up here and take a picture? Yeah. Can we just squeeze in? We have some shorties. Principal Harrigan, please come up here as well. Yes, Principal Harrigan, please come up here. Can we maybe squeeze together? I would go in the middle. I think Tom needs to go behind. Where's Tom? Where's Tom? Where's Tom? Where's Tom?
That didn't get announced. One person didn't get announced. They got announced a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looking at me first. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you. Oh, should we take the masks off, anybody? Whatever you're comfortable with. All right, we'll do one more. Looking at me. One, two, three. Thank you. <laughs> so cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 it was so awesome. Thank you for taking us all. Thanks for helping me get everybody. So exciting. With the right paperwork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so incredible. Yeah, it really, really is. is. Thank you so much. Degrees. No, please. No, what? Oh, my God. Great again. <laughs> yes, please let them So go. we do want to. Um... Okay. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you again. Good job, moms and dads. <laughs> Good job, parents. No, she's not even So our student of the month isn't here yet. I don't know. Okay. Wait, did you? I don't did think so. Mark. Yeah, well, did you hear from okay. Mark? Let's I just keep going. Mark. Did you hear from Mark? Shh. He okay. might not make it, but he was. I was told he notified the family. So. Okay. Okay. Well, well let's go do on. Do you want to? Why don't we just save it? Mm -hmm. yep, no. Yes, we're going to go on to communications. Mm -hmm. As our student of the month is not here right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Any board report? Um. I just want to quickly. Say that I am sad to hear of Ms. Sirhan's son passing and that I was honored to be able to at least attend the memorial um, in her honor and I have um, met her a bunch of times since I used to go to Thornton a lot and she was just one of the sweetest people that you could ever meet <laughs> and that it's definitely a life gone too soon and she had just retired so I'm really sad about that, but I'm honored to be able to have been able to attend her service. So that's all I have to say today. Salahuddin. Yes, I echo those sentiments. Um, I was really shocked when I saw and heard the news and my heart goes out to everyone at Thornton, which is a family and I know they're all so close. Um, and, you know, to anyone that calls her family. Um, it's it's really hard, you know. It's it, I've done a lot of thinking, and life is such a weird thing that we don't really take we take it for granted a lot until things like this happen. So I just always remember to like tell everybody that I care about that I care about them and I love them um, because you never know when you'll be able to speak to some people again. And I um, thought about that I hadn't really. I uh, seen her spend time with her because of COVID and how much time we had all been apart and I um, was usually seeing her on a regular basis. So um, that's what I thought about when I heard the news. And on another note, we had our first um, San Mateo County School Boards Association meeting in person since uh, the pandemic. And it was a really nice, well attended event. And um, I'm excited that we're getting to be able to do things together again in a lots of different facets, as well as going to the open house at uh, Jefferson, I was there as well. Yeah, just being able to be at the open house at Jefferson last last week was good. <laughs> just to see, just again, be able to, to to meet members of our community who are interested in Jefferson, and then the high school fair the week before, mm -hmm. right? Again, to be able to meet members of our community and 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 talk about, and in the, also being able to talk about our our work as a board. So. A lot, a lot of good stuff over the past couple of weeks since the la past few weeks since the last board meeting, which was, well, we had Fog Fest in between all of that too, right? right? Yeah, so we had the Fog Fest and all that fun and <laughs> and being able to, again, you know, park. talk about us as a district, people asking us where did those cool t-shirts come from, that we were, the black t-shirts we were all wearing, so that was great. Uh, I, yeah, it's been a long time since our last meeting. I'll just share that um, I joined the Terra Nova Women's Advocacy Club in a March for reproductive justice. It was um, really great to be with our community 
out there, teachers, a lot of people who came, who heard about it, and uh, were looking for a march locally and joined us. And um, after having broken my foot in March, this was like a big, a big deal for me to go from, you know, the Taco Bell all the way to uh, Rockaway Beach and back. But um, I really enjoyed, um, you know, feeling that kinship with everyone. Uh, let's see, on to Ms. Presta for the superintendent report. Thank you. Um, as you said, there were lots of activities that were a lot of fun being in the community. Thanks to our director of communications and staff housing, Austin Warden, for setting up beautiful booths at Fog Fest two days in a row, at the Brisbane Day in the park. He really, um, you know, outdid himself. I, I, I'm just really glad that's his job and not mine. <laughs> It was great, and I know I'm not capable of that. Um, but it was nice to be in the community in Pacifica and in Brisbane on those days. Um, we had the San Mateo County School Board Association dinner, and one of the highlights for me, that was just last night, was that three of our student trustees attended. Um, and, you know, some of it's a little dry about school budgets and stuff, and they really seemed interested and were, were really attentive. It was nice to have them there. Um, I was at the California City School Superintendents, um, California City School Superintendents Conference last week in Burlingame. Um, what I'm noticing is that everything is just sort of starting up. It, this hasn't happened for a few years, like many of the other meetings. So it was about half the size that it normally is. But, and I, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to give it's 24 hours, it's kind of half Thursday to the half day on Friday. And it's so busy right now, I wasn't quite sure, and I'm really glad I went. They had some really great speakers. Um, and the theme throughout many of these things is connection and wellness um, and just that focus in our schools. And so that was really good. Um, Mr. Aarons, Brock Aarons from Westmore, Mr. Harrigan from Jefferson, and Mr. Vega from Jefferson attended the Boys and Girls Club reception along with um, Kareen Baca and I. Um, it was a really lovely event. It was a Boys and Girls Club um, of the Peninsula event to sort of thank donors, et cetera. And it was pretty fancy pants, I won't lie. It was very nice, so we didn't mind it. Um, but uh, I spoke along with um, one of the leaders from the Boys and Girls Club just about the programs that we have going here, the um, Future Grads program. So I'm really grateful that they're in our that they're in Westmore and Jefferson, and it was a really nice event. And um, looking forward to the Bayshore. There's a Bayshore block party coming up, so we'll be in the uh, Bayshore community very soon. And that's All it right. for me. Thank you. Uh, the AFT Local 1481 report. Ms. Casey. Um, so this past month has been pretty busy. Uh, I went down to Los Angeles for CFT State Council and committees. Um, <coughs> these are things that five years ago I would have no idea that CFT is involved in so many things that have to do with um, the legislature and trying to move items forward for our school districts. So um, that was interesting and fun to, again, like you're all saying, meet again with people live. Um, it's been a while. Um, today I started, again, restarted the chat for AFT 1481. Uh, throughout the pandemic, I did it like once a week almost. And now I'm going to do it about once a month where members can come on for any time for the two hours, ask questions, um, you know, give suggestions. Not many people show up, I'm going to be honest. I might shorten the time, but um, yeah, I think it's important for those who don't see me when I go to their sites to be able to have a place to talk to me. Not that people don't talk to me and call me and email me and text me <laughs> all the time, but sometimes it's nice. It's on Google Meet, and I might do it in different locations. Um, speaking of the t-shirts, our own t-shirts, we wear them on Wednesdays. The 1481 people wear them on Wednesdays. So just a reminder. 
Um, and I sent out an email to the whole district. So even if you aren't a member, if you have student loan, there's a forgiveness program that is due October 31st. So please, please, please. Even if it's your own child, you might be able to get those student loans if you helped a student, your own student, like I did, pay for college, you might be able to get student loan forgiveness. That's what I've been told. I, of course, haven't applied yet. Mm -hmm. I'm a last minute type of person on that kind of thing. And then also I sent out the CFT voters guide. So you can put in your address and then it'll show you all of the people that, um, the people and items such as Prop 1, um, you know, that people can vote on. So go ahead and, and utilize that, even if you're not an AFT 1481 member. So that's all for now. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Preston, do we have a COVID-19 response update? Uh, the only update is that what um, we are going to be sending home COVID, uh, at home COVID tests during the th Thanksgiving break like we have done last year and in the beginning of this year, just, just to be safe on the safe side. But um, other than that, no, no big update. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Now we're on to the consent agenda. We have a motion. Move to approve consent. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let's see. And now um, to our action items. Uh, item one. Uh, yeah, we have public oh, comment. do we have public comment? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, the first speaker is Victoria Mopula. Hello. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, that, is this all? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm here representing the Daily City. Um, Public Library Associates, and we wanted to share some information with all of you that I think is relevant to the school board. Um, first of all, we have an Art and Lit Fest that we're hosting at Saramonte Center on Saturday, November 5th from 11 to 3, and it's a free event that's showcasing local poets, authors, artists, musician, musicians, and crafters. And in particular, we have some students from the district performing. Um, we have Mission Fusion will be on our stage. We have our Daily City Youth Poet Laureate, um, Chloe Chow, who is a student at Westmore. And um, she will be doing an author talk to share with the audience about information about the, the book that she wrote and self-published when she was only in eighth grade. Mm. And also to talk about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, her um, zine that she's working on right now as part of her service project as part of her term as Daily City Youth Poet Laureate. And we will also have our Daily City Youth Poet Laureate program representatives uh, performing. We have Jessent Marcelino, who is from Jefferson High School. We have Chloe Chow from Westmore, and we have Hannah Docampo Pham, who is also, also from Westmore High School. And in addition to that, we have artisan tables, and we will have our, our club that was just here, Jefferson Art Club. They will be selling some, some stuff around the mural. I think they have some stickers and that sort of thing. And we also have the Dead Poet Society from Westmore High School. I'm not sure if they're going to be selling stuff or just an information table. But we're, you know, we're hoping that we're, we're also going to have volunteers quite a few from Oceana because of course they have that service <laughs> requirement but you know we're happy to be able to provide a volunteer opportunity for them and um, I believe our Grizz Art Club is also going to be volunteering and other random students who have popped up so um, we, we would love for the board members if you're able to come and all of you everyone to come and uh, check out the event we think it's going to be really great it's um, providing a platform for artists but also raising money for our daily city public libraries. So it's a win-win situation and should be a lot of fun. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is we are launching the search for the third Daily City Youth Poet Laureate. It's a program that we started in 2020. And um, our first Youth Poet Laureate was in 2021-22 was her term. Madeline her was from Oceana High School. She's now in college at San Diego State, or no, sorry, San Diego, UC San Diego. And um, our current Youth Poet Laureate, as I mentioned, is Chloe Chow from Westmore High School. And so now we're looking for, um, it seems like it's far in the future, but it really isn't. The term for the next one is May 2023 to May 2024. So this program is open to any student 
who either lives. <laughs> I'm just. This oh, is so sorry, I'm using up my time. Okay, I'll be fast. <laughs> yes. Is either using up. I'm sorry. <laughs> is either lives in Daly City or attends a Daly City school. And um, there's a $5,000 honorarium because this is a position, not just a prize. So we expect them to perform in three to five um, events during their term. And um, if you want any more information about it, please see DCPLA's website at dcpla.org. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. On to our action items. Human resources, job description, adult school, Account clerk. So since uh, Ms. Lujan is not able to attend tonight, I will be the one taking her items. Okay. So uh, for this first item, um, the adult school currently does not have an account clerk position, and this job description would allow us to hire someone to do the uh, purchasing and um, run the financial part for adult school. Move to approve. Second. Oh, second. Sorry. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, the 2023 Health Benefits Memorandum of Understanding. Thank you. So this item uh, is a MOU with AFT 1481 uh, to have the district pick up the increase in health uh, benefit premiums. Um, and so employee contribution rates would remain the same. To approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item uh, three, department head split position side letter. When we negotiated um, the department head's position in our last round of negotiations, we rolled the stipend into the salary schedule which means that if someone wants to share the position between two people to do the department head job, they no longer can do that um, in the way that we negotiated. So we need a side letter to allow people to split the position. They then would be placed on the regular salary schedule instead of the department head salary schedule and get a stipend that would be shared. Right. So move to approve. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And now for the Daly City Youth Health Center stipend side letter agreement. Thank you. This uh, last side letter agreement was negotiated with AFT to allow Daly City Youth Health Center staff to receive the stipends that were outlined in the grants um, that we accepted at the last board meeting. To approve the side letter. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 15B1. Uh, First Amendment to the Exclusive Collaboration Agreement with Eden Housing, Inc. and CORE Affordable Housing, LLC. Thank you, President Tata. <laughs> so this one is for me. Um, the July 19th board meeting, the board approved an agreement for collaboration with Eden Housing and CORE Affordable Housing as our development partner for the affordable housing portion of Ceremony Del Rey. Uh, this collaboration term was for 90 days, at which point we were supposed to uh, develop a, a longer term agreement. But we spent most of those 90 days looking at how many units we could fit on the site. Uh, so we would like another 90 days to uh, negotiate the more formal agreement. Move to approve the First Amendment to the, to the uh, agreement with uh, Eden Housing and okay. CORE. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next item is intent to convey a sewer easement to North San Mateo County Sanitation District, Resolution 2022-23-5. Thank you. And for this item, it's the first step in a three-step process for us to convey an easement to the city, I'm sorry, this one's to San Mateo County Sanitation District for our faculty and staff housing. Um, it is standard when you have a new development that you have easements that need to be figured out. Uh, this one is for sewer. Um, so if it's approved tonight, then we will post for a public hearing to be at our next board meeting. We'll have the public hearing and the conveyance of the easements at the next board meeting. To approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And 
Now, the intent to convey utility and public access easements to the City of Daly City Resolution 2022-23-6. And for the last item, this is another conveyance of easements, this time to the city of Daly City for uh, the, again, with the faculty and staff housing. Um, these would be for utility and public access. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Do we have any consideration of future agenda items? None? We can get a motion to adjourn. To adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, meeting adjourned at 736. What a beautiful thing.